Thank you Printify for sponsoring this video. So last week, I showed you guys how to create beautiful wall art designs to sell as print-on-demand products through your online store. So in today's video, I'll show you how to create your Shopify store to sell these products. And we're going to focus on how to set up your print-on-demand business using Printify. By the way, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. The products that we're going to be setting up for sale today were created using the methods I explained in that video. So if you're interested in learning how to create some high-quality POD designs, make sure to check it out. This is going to be a super beginner-friendly tutorial, so if you're interested in starting a dropshipping business to sell POD products all around the world, then this video is for you. So let's dive straight into how to set up your store and I'll explain the pros and cons of this business model as we go. So just head on to Shopify.com and you'll land on this page. To get started, simply click here where it says start free trial. You can now sign up with your email or using one of these options below. I'm going to go ahead and sign up using my email and you'll land on this sort of survey where they'll ask you a few questions to help you set up your business based on your specific needs. Don't worry, you can simply skip this section for now and jump straight into the fun part and that'll bring us to our Shopify dashboard. So the first thing I like to do is select a plan to get that out of the way immediately so we don't have to face any roadblocks as we build our store. So just click here where it says select a plan and choose the one that works best for you. Now with this out of the way you can go ahead and start building your store. So if you're new to Shopify this is a complete and comprehensive e-commerce platform meaning it does pretty much everything you need to sell online. To begin with, Shopify lets you build a custom website for your store. It offers many different templates, most of which have a really clean and professional look, and of course you can fully customize them to build a tailor-made website that fully fits your business needs. Then you can list all kinds of products, you can track your inventory, you can organize your marketing campaigns, you have a ton of different apps and plugins that integrate directly to Shopify. So for example, if you have a print-on-demand business where you sell t-shirts or mugs or phone cases or whatever POD product you're selling, you can integrate your store with Printify and they will take care of the fulfillment part of the process every time you sell a product. So what are some drawbacks of using Shopify? Honestly, there aren't many. It is a pretty frictionless experience that a lot of people do enjoy. Everything you need is bundled together in one place, so you don't need to use a bunch of different services or apps. Shopify really has everything you would need to create and run a successful store. And that is, in my opinion, the main selling point of this platform. So how do we go about selling these beautiful print-on-demand posters? So the first thing you want to do is create your website. Now for this example, I have already done that, but if you guys are interested in learning how to do that using Shopify's web builder, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll create a dedicated video explaining the whole process in great detail. So once you have your Shopify account set up, we can move on to Printify to select the products that you want to sell and get them ready to print. To get started, simply go to Printify.com and that'll take you to this page. Again, if you're new to the print-on-demand concept, you should know that this is a really convenient business model that allows you to sell high-quality physical products all around the world without having to hold any inventory or ship any products yourself. You just need to focus on creating cool designs and then Printify will take care of printing those designs on the product, packaging it and sending it directly to your customer as soon as an order comes through your store. Okay, so Printify is completely free to set up and use, you just need to pay for the cost per order. Now Printify also offers a premium plan that allows you to list up to 10 stores and you also get a 20% discount on all products. This is a great option to move into as your store grows, but to begin with the free option is more than sufficient enough. Okay, so to get started simply click on start for free and set up your account. Just follow the steps, the process is super straightforward and once you're done you'll land on this page. So the first thing you want to do is connect your online store to your Printify account. Now on the left hand side of the screen you'll see an option that says my new store. Click on it and simply choose add a new store. Next you have to select your sales channel which in this case is Shopify and then it'll ask you to add your Shopify store URL to connect to Printify. So go ahead and do that and then click connect. This will prompt you to install the Printify app on your Shopify account. So just go ahead and click on install app and once it's done go ahead and add your Printify sign up details. And just like that, we've connected our Shopify store to Printify. Now I'll just click on open full site and then click on my store. And as you can see, I'm back inside my Printify account. Now if you go up here, you can now see that my Shopify store Bodenhound is now connected to my Printify account. And if we navigate across the menu, you can see that we have my products selected. This is where you can manage all your products. And as you can see, we don't have any products yet, so let's go ahead and create our first one right now. So think about some of the products you want to sell on your store. Now I have created this store specifically to sell print on demand posters, but you can choose to sell all kinds of different products. You can also use your store to sell branded merchandise to promote some of your businesses. For example, t-shirts with your brand's logo or maybe mugs or hoodies. Now from your dashboard, you can navigate to the left-hand side and you'll find that catalog with all the white label products Printify offers. This is where you can choose from a bunch of different categories of products you can print your designs on, like men's clothing, women's clothing, and even all kinds of accessories. Now for the purpose of our specific store, we're going to navigate to the home and living section and we're going to choose posters. And you have multiple options to choose from. 
from. You have posters with different characteristics, different finishes, you even have some framed options as well. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can also select your target market. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here, which is a bestseller. And as soon as you do that, Printify will display the specific features of this product. To the left, you can see a number of mockups that showcase the product, how it's going to be packaged, and how it would look like on a wall. If you scroll down, you have some further features and a table containing all the available sizes you can offer your customers. Now, navigating back up again, we can check out the supplier for this product. And here we can see the costs associated with printing and shipping this specific poster. So to actually place your design on this poster, you want to go ahead and click where it says Start Designing. This will take you to the product editor where you can easily import your design from any of these locations. So I'm going to go ahead and import my design from my computer and there you go. Now if you click on the design, you'll see a bunch of options appear on the top. This will allow you to perfectly position your design within the canvas. So you can flip it, fit it to the placeholder, and Printify now offers a couple of new tools that even allow you to remove the background of your image in case you need to. Now the next step is very important. If you navigate to the right hand side of the screen, you can choose your product variants. So if you click on select variants, you can choose all the sizes that you want to offer your customers. This specific product has 38 different options, but I usually focus on the biggest sizes which I believe look much better on a wall. You can choose to sell all 38 sizes if you want to. And so when you go back, now you have a table with all the sizes you chose. And you definitely want to navigate through these to make sure that your design looks good and is properly placed on each one of them. Because some options have different proportions than others, so your image might be cropped in some weird way, and if you want to make a specific adjustment on one of them without affecting the others, you can select that size and click here where it says make a specific design for the 10x10 for example. And this way you can move your image slightly and your other options won't be affected. Now one final thing I wanted to show you guys. Printify now incorporates AI into the editor, which means that you can actually experiment with creating your designs on Printify. So you can choose a style, like uh, this is really cool, like anime, maybe low poly or I don't know, comic book. And here you can write your prompt. Let's try creating a World War II bomber flying through the sky in comic book style. And look at that, this one actually looks really cool. And so now we can import it, this one actually could look good on the 10x10, and there you go. This could work for a kid's room or something. So definitely check that out. You have a limited number of attempts per day, but definitely worth experimenting with. One last thing worth mentioning is that you can also add text and graphics to your design. As I mentioned in my previous video, this could be particularly useful when creating t-shirt or mug designs that include some funny quotes or graphics. So keep that in mind too. So once you're happy with your design, you can go to the top right hand side of the screen and click on preview. And Printify will show you a few different mockups with your design so you can see how it looks like on a printed poster. Okay, so when you're happy with your product, you can simply navigate down and click on save product. So this is where you add all the listing details for your product. You can choose a title and write a short description. And this is the information that is going to be displayed on your Shopify store alongside the product. So make sure to choose a title and a mockup view and also make sure to write a compelling description. And for that, you want to take into consideration SEO, that is search engine optimization, and make sure to include some target keywords to help you rank this product page on Google. You can change this anytime within your Printify account or within your product section in Shopify. You can also add tags, this will help you better manage your products within Shopify. And then if we scroll down to variants, we can customize the pricing options for these variants. You can manually choose what profit margin you'd like to have or the specific dollar amount that you want to earn for each sale. You can definitely play around with these pricing points if you like. And finally, you can choose the category where you want your product to be published within your store. We're going to select homepage for now. Don't worry, you can always create and change these categories within Shopify. And finally, we scroll down and click on publish. And as you can see, the status is now publishing. Keep in mind that it can take a few minutes before the status changes to active. Again, you can go back to the catalog and you can follow this exact same process with all of the products Printify offers. So what we're going to do now is head back to our Shopify store. And as you can see, under products, we can find the poster we just created with Printify. And this is where you can further customize the details of this product within Shopify. So let's go ahead and preview what this product would look like on our store. And there we go. It looks really cool. So this is how you get started with Shopify and Printify in 2024. If you guys found this helpful, please remember to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video. It really helps a lot. You guys are the best and I'll see you next week.